This is the Music History Today podcast for June 29th. On today's show, George Harrison makes a sad announcement. Neil Peart joins Rush and Bruce records an iconic video with a yet unknown friend. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Johnny Ray recorded the song Just Walking in the Rain. In 1957, the country of Iran banned rock and roll because dancing to rock and roll music had health risks, at least according to them. In 1959, Dick Clark made the announcement that he was going to start promoting and producing a concert tour with major rock and roll artists at the time called the Caravan of Stars. In 1963, the Beatles hit the British charts for the first time with the song From Me to You. In 1966, Neil Diamond performed live on television for the first time. In 1967, Graham Nash wrote the song Marrakesh Express. Also on that same day, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger were sentenced to spend a year in jail on drug charges. The sentence was later thrown out on appeal. In 1969, the event that was the basis for the Academy Award-winning documentary Summer of Soul happened when the first of five Harlem Cultural Festival concerts took place. In 1969, same day, the classic Jimi Hendrix Experience lineup of Jimi Hendrix, Mitch Mitchell, and Noel Redding played together on stage for the final time. Noel left the band soon thereafter. In 1970, the Liza Minnelli TV special Liza aired on NBC television. In 1971, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger were again sentenced to prison on drug charges. Also, that got bounced out as well. In 1973, lead singer Ian Gillen left the band Deep Purple after a show in Japan. In 1974, drummer Neil Peart joined the group Rush. In 1978, Peter Frampton was seriously injured in a car accident. He survived. In 1984, Bruce Springsteen recorded the music video for his song Dancing in the Dark. His dance partner at the end of the video was a then-unknown actress, Courtney Cox, of, of course, Friends. In 1985, John Lennon's 1965 Rolls-Royce Phantom V car, with its famous psychedelic paint scheme, sold at auction for $2.299 million U.S. dollars. In 1985, same day, David Bowie and Mick Jagger recorded both the song and the music video for their version of the Motown classic song Dancing in the Streets by Martha and the Vandellas. Their version was made for the Live Aid charity concert, which happened soon thereafter. We actually discuss not this particular music video, but we do discuss the song and the artist who made it, in the Music Halls of Fame podcast, which has already dropped by the time you're listening to this. Check it out on this network. Please like and subscribe as well on that. Helps the algorithm. Anyway, moving on. In 1987, record label executives at a meeting came up with the genre world music to describe international artists because they couldn't come up with anything else, I guess. In 1988, Lionel Richie was caught in bed with another woman by his wife. His wife was arrested for assaulting him for it. Hmm. In 1989, the Pet Shop Boys started their first tour. In 1992, President George H.W. Bush spoke out against what he said was, quote, those who use films or records or television or video games to glorify killing law enforcement officers, end quote. And no, I was not going to do a George H.W. Bush impression. Bush was referring, actually, to the group Body Count, whose song Cop Killer made them targets of the far right and politicians who needed a culture war issue because it was an election year. No mention was made of the movie Scarface or The Godfather's Parts 1 and 2 in that little diatribe, but, you know, whatever. In 1994, Barbara Streisand made 16 million U.S. dollars from her comeback concerts at a Madison Square Garden in New York City. In 1995, Ringo Starr was in his first American television commercial. It was for Pizza Hut. In 1998, George Harrison announced that he had cancer. 
1999, 70s teen idol Leaf Garrett was arrested for possession of cocaine. In 2000, Eminem's mother sued him for 10 million U.S. dollars for defamation of character because he said in one of his songs that his mother smoked more dope than he did. In 2000, same day, thieves tried to steal Leonard Skinner's Ronnie Van Zant's body from his mausoleum, but they couldn't open his casket. The thieves also stole the urn that bandmate Steve Gaines' ashes were in. In 2004, Rick James performed for the last time when he sang with Tina Marie at the BET Awards. In 2007, Apple released a phone that could also play music and go on the internet. It was the first iPhone, starting the modern era of the smartphone, although smartphones had technically been around for a few years, just not like this one. In 2008, Leonard Cohen headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival, and in 2022, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison for sex trafficking charges. In classical music, in 1888, a recording of Israel in Egypt by Handel was made on a wax cylinder. It is the first known recording of classical music. In theater in 1946, the Broadway shows Are You With It? and Billion Dollar Baby both closed. In 1963, the Broadway show Little Me closed. In 1980, the Broadway musical Sweeney Todd closed. And in 2001, the play about the mamas and the papas called Dream a Little Dream, the almost true story of the mamas and the papas premiered in Canada. In award ceremonies that were held on June 29th in 1936, George M. Cohen was the first musical artist awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for his efforts with raising the nation's morale. And in 2007, the University of Ireland, Galway, gave singer-songwriter Enya an honorary doctorate degree. Albums that were released on June 29th include in 1967 when Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band released Safe as Milk. In 1968, Pink Floyd released A Saucer Full of Secrets. In 1987, Great White released Once Bitten. In 1992, Blind Guardian released Somewhere Far Beyond. In 1993, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, or OMD if you prefer, released Liberator. Also on that same day, Barbara Streisand released Back to Broadway. Jeff Beck and the Big Town Playboys released Crazy Legs. And Billy Idol released Cyberpunk. In 1999, Alice in Chains released Nothing Safe, Best of the Box. Motley Crue released Supersonic and Demonic Relics. Grand Funk Railroad released 30 Years of Funk, 1969 to 1999. And Styx released Brave New World. In 2004, The Tragically Hip released In Between Evolution, The Cure released their self-titled album, Rush released Feedback, and Paul Simon released the studio recordings 1972-2000. to 2000. In 2008, David Bowie released I Select. In 2009, Steely Dan released The Very Best of Steely Dan. In 2010, The Indigo Girls released Staring Down the Brilliant Dream. In 2015, Neil Young with Promise of the Real released The Monsanto Years. And in 2018, Drake released the double album Scorpion. Singles that were released on June 29th include in 1960 when Buddy Holly released True Love Ways. In 1962, The Contours released Do You Love Me. In 1967, Dusty Springfield released The Look of Love. In 1981, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released A Woman in Love. In 1986, Huey Lewis and the News released Doing It All for My Baby. In 1987, Bananarama released I Heard a Rumor. And in 1989, Richard Marks released Right Here Waiting. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. 
Artists who were born on June 29th include singer Little Eva, who sang the song The Locomotion, the original version, that is. Singer Nicole Scherzinger of the Pussycat Dolls. Singer Stedman Pearson of Five Star. Singer Evelyn Champagne King. Guitarist and singer Colin Hay of Men at Work. Multi-instrumentalist Roger Spear of the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. Billy Hinch of Dino, Desi, and Billy, drummer Ian Pace of Deep Purple and also Whitesnake, Don Dawkin of his group, Dawkin, Derv and Lincoln Gordon of the group The Equals, musician Gilberto Gill, songwriter L. Russell Brown, Billy Storm of The Valiants, Leonard Lee of Shirley and Lee, songwriter Frank Loser, jazz drummer Moosey Alexander, pianist Ralph Burns, film composer Bernard Ehrman, Hollywood legend and singer Nelson Eddy, singer Zion Kuwandu, singer Oliver Tree, rapper Reese Herbert, drummer and also the late Selena's sister, Suzette Quintanilla, rapper MC Magic, rapper Sauce Walka, rapper Natty B, composer and producer Neil Davidge, and drummer Richard Battersby of the group The Wild Hearts. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 29th include composer Mikel Lambert, who passed away in 1696 at somewhere around the age of 86. No one's quite sure exactly when he was born. Pianist Rentaro Taki passed away in 1903 at the age of 23. Composer Gustav Kirker passed away in 1923 at the age of 66. Pianist Ignacy Paderewski passed away in 1941 at the age of 80. Composer Jules Van Nuffel passed away in 1953 at the age of 70. Composer Milenko Zivkovich passed away in 1964 at the age of 63. Jazz musician Eric Dolphy passed away in 1964 at the age of 36. Composer Joseph Ryland passed away in 1965 at the age of 95. Composer Arthur Muleman's passed away in 1966 at the age of 82. Singer Shorty Long passed away in 1969 at the age of 29. Composer Veselin Stoyanov passed away in 1969 at the age of 67. Singer Tin Tan passed away from cancer in 1973 at the age of 57. Singer-songwriter Tim Buckley passed away from a heroin overdose in 1975 at the age of 28. Singer-songwriter Lowell George of the Mothers of Invention and also the founder of the band Little Feet passed away in 1979 at the age of 34. Organist Groove Holmes passed away from cancer in 1991 at the age of 60. Salsa singer Hector Laveau passed away from complications from AIDS in 1993 at the age of 46. Conductor Kurt Eichhorn passed away in 1994 at the age of 85. Trumpet player Ray Crane passed away in 1994 at the age of 63. Pianist Horst Jankowski passed away in 1998 at the age of 62. Singer and actress Rosemary Clooney passed away from cancer in 2002 at the age of 74. George McCorkle of the Marshall Tucker Band passed away from cancer in 2007 at the age of 59. Rob Wasserman of the group Rat Dog and also of the Dave Grisman Quintet passed away in 2016 at the age of 64. Entertainer Lillian Montevecchi passed away from cancer in 2018 at the age of 85. Gary Duncan of Quicksilver Messenger Service passed away from a heart attack in 2019 at the age of 72. Singer-songwriter Hachulu Hundessa was shot and killed in 2020 at the age of 34. And singer John Lawton of the group's Lucifer's Friend and also Uriah Heep passed away in 2021 at the age of 74. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 30th when, in 1992, a movie soundtrack helped to solidify grunge rock's place in the mainstream. <laughs> 